In today's video, I'll show you how I made the thumbnail for this video using the photo cutout tool in InShot, which allows you to either remove or change the background of any photo. You can use colors or even your own photos. The first thing you'll want to do is tap on photo new and start a new project like this. Next, you need to tap on canvas Tap on ratio and remove the frame. InShot does have a paid subscription, but the photo cutout tool works in the free version, so you don't need to pay for it, and it does a pretty good job. Move the crop handle as you need to. You can also select one of the presets from the bottom. Tap on the check mark when you're done. Now that the photo has been cropped, just tap the cutout icon from the main toolbar to remove the background of the photo. Once you do, you'll see this checkered background. Tap on the check mark and go back to the main timeline. Since this is going to be used in a thumbnail on YouTube, the next thing you've got to do is change the ratio. Tap on Canvas and choose 16 by 9. Then, move your photo over to the right-hand side like this. Next, you'll want to tap on Background, tap on the camera icon, and select a photo that you're going to use in your background. This one here. Just tap on it and tap the check mark and add it to your project. The next thing you'll want to do is remove the blur so your photo looks like this. Tap on the check mark to return to the main toolbar. The next thing you need to do is export this photo. Tap the share icon to export the photo and save it to your camera roll. Once the export is complete, you'll find the photo in your camera roll. The next step is to either save this draft or discard the project and open a new video project so that you have access to the picture-in-picture -picture tools. Make sure photo is selected and then tap on the photo that you just exported and add it to the new project. It should be formatted in 16 by 9 and your subject should be on the right hand side like this. Then you'll tap on picture-in-picture -picture and select your text. Notice that the background of this photo is black. This is the text that I use in most of my thumbnails. InShot has recently added the ability to blend photos and videos together similar to how the chroma key option works, except in this case it will work better if you tap on blend or blending and you look through each of these modes there is one that will work. You can use the lighten blending mode or you can also use the screen blending mode. I don't see any differences between them. Let me know in the comments below if you do and tell me which one you would use. Select either lighten or screen and then tap on the check mark. Pinch and zoom until your text and logo are in position. Tap on the check mark. At this point, you would want to export this out to your camera roll, however, if you do, you'll notice that it will export out as a video. So take a screenshot of the image on your screen at this point, and then crop the screenshot inside the Photos app so that just the thumbnail is showing. Crop your image properly and then tap on Done to save the cropped image. Unfortunately, InShot does not have a way to save a still image inside a video project. Tap on Save to Photos and the photo will be saved to your camera roll. 
Here is your thumbnail. It's ready to be uploaded to YouTube.